G'day guys, welcome to Scotch Down Under. He's Kibble. And he's Scott. Hi. <laughs> and I'm Ben. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's coming into winter. Fuck off it is, it's so hot in here. I said now it's coming into winter, we can do some fire, and what goes with fire? Smoke and... Coming into winter. It's not even bloody autumn yet, or is it? It is. It is. Just. It's like the start of autumn. Yeah. But it's still like 40 degree days, so we're still sweating. 40? Yeah. Well, it's only about fucking 30. Fine. It's coming into winter eventually, and we can have a fire, <laughs> and with fire comes smoke, so let's have some lager ball. <laughs> Okay, so like of all an eight. 48% ABV and Diageo, so the usual things. Yeah. How does it feel that your favourite whiskey is coloured and non and chill filtered? We don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Denial. <laughs> it's not my favourite whiskey, it's just one I like. <laughs> your favourite distiller? No, I don't have a favourite. There's no favourites. I, you, you, I beg you, your pardon. You just the happen eight. to have more the eight variations of on this that are up anything there else. says that that's your favourite. No, I just go along. <laughs> you buy it nine <laughs> bottles at a time. But it's cheap because it's so bloody expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it's your favourite, just accept it. Nope. <laughs> it's high on your list. It's number one on your list. I can't even remember how... No, I never gave it a number one. Yeah, but we hadn't tried it. Oh no, we had. Had we at that point? I don't know. Yeah, I we never gave it number one. Piss out of him for it, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Comes in a nice white box. Well, not really white. And more cream. Off white. Off white. Yeah. Bone. Bone. Cream pie coloured box. <laughs> Ivory. <laughs> Ivory. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Ivory it sounds good. Yeah. Mushroom. With... Mm. Beige. Beige. Teal. No, teal is blue. Teal for the colour blind. <laughs> <laughs> if you're seriously colour blind, it's in a light grey box. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, it is an off white colour, which is the complete opposite of the 16, which is. and the DE, and. It comes well, in the black box. Comes in the black box. Yeah, it's yeah. dark green. It is a dark green box, yes. Not a bite. It's a very dark green. Really? Yeah, it's not black. It's green. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, in the like right you light. you don't fucking know. It's the, in the right color, light. it's the same color as the bottle. Yeah. It's that dark green. That mm. dark green. Mm. Mm. Speaking of bottle, what's the color of this one? It is white. <laughs> <laughs> it is that same color, dark green. Yeah. It's green glass. It's a nice box. It's it pretty. Is. It's, it's got a little embossing on the side. Yes, yep, I nice little bit of embossing. <laughs> and you got the typical Arla badge on there, which is nice and sexy looking. With a nice fat red. Oh, it's embossed, eight too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Keep those nipples are hard enough. As it is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, yep, nice embossing on it. Yeah, I, I, do, I do like Oh, now yeah, that's surprising. There's a bit of peat there. Yeah. Oh, fancy that. I'm not getting any peat. I don't really? know what you're on about. Oh, maybe you should try and sniff a bit deeper. <laughs> Pete? Who's Pete? It's got Pete. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But it's that... It is just that standard, that trademark Pete. I mean, the the oily, briny band-aid mm. is still there, but it's yeah. it, like in this in this eight-year-old, it's, it's wonderfully soft, though. Yeah. Like mackerel rotting on grass. It's not... You're not going to gag on it, it's just there and it's glorious. If you're gagging yep. on a whiskey, you need to pull the Glen Calm back a little bit. <laughs> just <laughs> so, so, so not, quite as, not quite as deep. Yeah, you're, not, you're not doing You don't Glen need Calm to go to here on the glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, just, just, just the tip, perhaps. Oh, that tickled oh, the nostrils. I love the nose huh? on this. It's just... just mm. Yeah, I find that you don't get that Lugger Ball in 16 light peppery... No. Effervescent type fries. It's got more of that band aid. It is a little Lafroy with the kind of iodine y. Mm. Yeah, there's yeah. more of it mm. than a typical lager. Yeah, an ashtray full of band aids. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
And I find on this one that 48 is a, a little bit more spiky. Hmm, okay. Mm. We'll find out. But on the now. nose. On the nose. Oh, okay. Yeah, not on the palate yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah? Soon. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there it is. It's good. That's all we have to say. Goodbye. It, just, it is just... very... It, it does have that iodine. Oily. Yeah. Mm. But it's still got that typical lager sweetness at the end. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It does coat the mouth very well. Yeah, yeah. Very viscous. With this as opposed to the 16, I love the fact that the the peat and that real pungent iodine is, is dialed back. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's just everything they do is enjoyable. I suppose we haven't tried the Game of Thrones yet. More than Nick Offerman. I have. I have. The Game of Thrones. Yeah. Actually, no, I have tried the Game of Thrones. I yeah, I tried it at my friend's house. Oh, okay. You have a friend? Yeah. I do. Really? Sure. Yeah. yeah. How much you much? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fifty k a year. It's definitely got that oh. ID characteristic mm. on it. Mm. It's very enjoyable. Mm. Very, very enjoyable. Mm. Do we have to ruin it? Not ruining it, just, uh, we, just we, we have to do the comparison. Yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit of super cups. There's actually a lot for you. Oh well, yeah, I'm like there's a bit in there. Let's really crack it open and see yeah, what I suppose. Yeah, see what happens. Well, it's not going to cloud. Yeah. Nope. You, you, you could actually like give it a pump when you put it back in, so that there's something in there for the next person. You know. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm. A bit more spike. ABB straight up. Yeah. But we're going... I didn't even smell it, I just went straight for the toast. <laughs> Not quite going to dive in as deep this time. It does... It, on the palate, it brings forward the iodine. Yeah, I got the iodine, but now I'm, that's fallen away and I'm getting the citrus. But then The you... iodine's really died off on the nose. Mm. Whoa! Like it's it's actually, still yeah, there, but no. it's really, really soft, and that, that beautiful soft sweetness is coming through on the nose. Yeah, I'm getting that bit of citrus, but I just took a big still little bit like, of Yeah, was... but on the palate, it's like iodine first, and then you get the soft smoke at the end of yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was about mm -hmm. to say. It's, it's really dropped off to a soft smoke on the nose mm. now. But the, the iodine is really, really soft on the nose too. But it's so good. I love iodine. In whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sit at home drinking it. <laughs> Not since the accident. <laughs> you know, if you let it sit in the mouth for a while, it gets really peppery. Because you didn't have a choice. It does get a little peppery, but that, that beautiful soft sweetness really coats the tongue. Yeah. Yeah, I was getting the same thing. I thought it was a little bit thin when I but then all of a sudden it just And I was planning coated. on doing that anyway. It's definitely more of that pepperiness. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, right on the end of the tongue, on the back, on the top, it's it's all yeah. there. But a nice deep breath to push that out and then that soft sweetness and the iodine comes back again. Yeah. Mm. Yes, it is it's quite so warming. Good. Quite warming down the windpipe. Mm. Which is pretty much box standard for all our lugger villains. So final thoughts. Are you going to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> Any last request? Blindfold, cigarette, da. Smoke in a pancake. <laughs> Alright, so how much you reckon you're going to pay? Ah, uh, for that? I'd say about 180, maybe more. What? 180 for an eight year old? For the, oh. for the anniversary edition? Yeah. You're gonna pay up around 200 bucks, but this is not the anniversary edition. So basically, they brought out this originally for the bicentennial. Yep. Um, which 2016. Was 2016, and they've continued the eight year old. 
Oh, because I've only ever seen these. So this is basically now uh, pretty much a standard. Yeah, because the, so the shop that I used to work in had the 200 edition. but not So that one up there, which has the... than the 16. Yes. So yeah. the big difference is the other one actually has the 18, 16, 20, 16 on the front. So that one you're going to pay around 200 bucks for. Oh, this well, one... About 120. 120? Because the 16 is what, 140, 150 ish? 140. 140. Yeah. 140 on that yeah. most doors, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I reckon 120. 120? Well, we know what it is now. I was not paying attention. Yeah, well, that, that's why we asked you. <laughs> <laughs> it is It is 105 in Uncle Dan's. Oh, yeah. That's so, nice. you know, if, if you sort of allow that slight little variation that so, occurs, it's around 110. Yep. Hmm. So, about 100 bucks. Yeah. How much are you going to rank it? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll come back to you. <laughs> Keep on. Solid nine. Yeah, I was thinking like Solid a 9.5. Solid nine. Opens up a little with some water. Quite reasonably priced, I feel. I think, in all honesty, I prefer this over the 16 because it's just that little softer and more subtle. Not quite in your face. Don't get me wrong, I love the 16. No, I'm just weighing up whether I need to hold him back or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because I'm still loving Lagavulin, so of course he's going to fucking agree. It's still Lagavulin, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, not uh, it's, not, it's not his favourite. 9.5. It's not his favourite. 9.5? This one's not. 16 oh, is. Yeah. yeah. 16 Nine. is definitely his favourite. Shut up. <laughs> 9.5, so you like it. I do like it. It's Lagavulin, yeah. of course I fucking like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, but Lagavulin's not my favourite. Lefroy is. Whereas Lagavulin is yours. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it. I'll, I'll definitely give it a solid, solid nine. That's a solid nine embossed in, 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 in <laughs> shiny chrome. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I do describe this as the young upstart teenager compared to the old granddad, the 16. Your favourite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now will he? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I, I, I found that it was quite a bit prickly and spiky on the neck port, and now it's down below the shoulder. It's really... Oh, yeah. yeah it, is, it is one that yeah. the don't take the neck port as to how the rest of the bottle is going to be. It really, really comes good. Yeah, and so that upstart young teenager, I think I'd have to drop that down now because this is... This mm. is getting into your early 20s. Did I tell you how I, I got myself to like peated whiskies? No. With pure brute force? <laughs> Just I kept bought... drinking, forced yourself to drink them. Well, the second bottle, of, the first bottle of whiskey I ever bought was Speaky, the Harmony. Yep. Yep. And the second bottle of whiskey was a 16 Lefroy. Um, it's the 16 like a Vulin. If you can get the Lefroy 16, please <laughs> let me know. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was a 16 like a Vulin. And I literally just, I took one sip and I was like, I don't like mm. this. And so I sat outside with a packet of cigarettes and YouTube on my phone and drank to a here until I did like it. <laughs> I like that commitment. That, that, that's bad. And I've liked Peter Whiskey since. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like there's always that argument of, of when you when you're trying to like get into Pete. Do you mm. start with something soft or you just start with something that's just going to literally kick you in the balls? Well, so many people or have... punch you in the throat as such. Mm. Lagavulin has that really awesome distinction that it has really introduced a lot of people to scotch mm. in general because they've tried it, fell in love with it, and went, wow, this is so much yeah. in there and unique. With other people, you know, they yeah. might have a whiskey experience, never had Pete, try it and go, uh-oh, that's not for me. Yeah. But so... Yeah. yeah, I went from super clean to super smoky. <laughs> <laughs> but I like how you committed yourself. Like, yeah, well, I'm gonna like this, whether it <laughs> I was it freezing me cold or not. in the middle of winter, and I sat outside <laughs> and literally just had a blanket over me and my phone propped up on the bottle, watching YouTube and just sipping on it. <laughs> <laughs> cool, uh, like a ball. Slightly depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's awesome. <laughs> I'm nearly out of whiskey. I've got like a fucking Yeah, I'm, 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 I really want to drink this, so I think we yeah. need to close this episode down so we can have a sip. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. So we like it. Yes. We do. Yep. And for 100 bucks, it's not bad on the wallet either, so... Mm. And it's not his favourite. No, that's the 16. <laughs> yeah. If you had two of them, he'd like it. All right, I'm going to kill these two, so <laughs> until no, next not. time. <laughs> have a good, have a good one. one. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Empty glasses. <laughs> Hang on. Camera one. Camera two. Camera three. <laughs> Camera four. <laughs> Camera five. <laughs>